Good evening YouTube, this is just a very short video to show you how I have modified the spool holders for my GTEC A10M. Now in the original description and setup for this we are instructed to mount the spool holders so using the two T-nuts into the top extrusion and then you have your filament going through the filament sensor and into the filament at a 90 degree angle. Now the issue with this is is that apart from the fact it may pull the filament off the reel it's also got quite a sharp bend coming into the extruder gear before going down to the hot end. So Neris pointed out that it was possible to rotate this spool holder through 90 degrees and mount it using one of the T-nuts only like so. Now although the solution works well and the filament now comes round through the filament sensor and into the extruder gear in a much smoother and more natural method the issue I have is is that we only have one T-nut holding the spool holder on you can either use this nut or use the nut at the other end but it is unbalancing the spool holder so if a simple little fix I found a way that makes it sit possibly a little more comfortably for my own peace of mind if it even if it isn't any technically any different so with the spool holder on the edge of the desk take some kind of straight edge I'm using my ever faithful T-square Get a square off the edge of the spool holder like that and then score a line down the width of that bottom plate, like so. Make sure you get it as central as possible, although it isn't actually necessary to be 100% perpendicular. Now, if you happen to have a hole punch or steel punch, I suggest at this point you punch two small dents in the bottom of here somewhere about there and somewhere about there then you find yourself a metal drill bit that is the same diameter as the hole and then you merely drill a hole approximately there and then you drill a second hole approximately there like this so with the two holes drilled you can now place your small bolt and captive nut into those two holes and then we will place the spool holder back onto the top extrusion. So now we have the spool holder mounted by both T-nuts and bolts which then means the spool sits over like so your filament passes round through the sensor and into the extruder gear leaving a nicely balanced more secure way of holding your spool holders and then your second spool holder, once drilled, you will fit side by side like so. And that should solve any issues with unbalancing. And I think a firmer and safer way of mounting the spool holders on the GTEC A10M. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And look forward to some more videos using this wonderful new machine from GTEC. And until then, goodbye and happy printing.